Hi there, once again welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create amazing logos using Medjourney AI. So I've created these real estate logos and then I'm going to show you how to work through this. Currently, Medjourney always get the typo, that's the text for your logo. You normally get them wrong, but we can easily edit and modify this using any photo editing software. So I'm going to walk you through how to create an amazing real estate logo like this using this amazing AI tool. You can easily sample any of the versions. We have currently four versions, one, two, three, four. And you can easily pick any of them and then use them for your project. So you can easily use this amazing AI to create amazing logo. And I'm gonna walk you through how to do that in a bit. So we're going to create everything step by step with no step skip. So you can see, I just pick one of these. That's the third one, the third interface, the UI. And then I can easily save this and easily save this to my desktop and then just modify the name okay so let's jump into action and see how we can actually create this and now you first need to sign up to this platform and then you have to use any of the newbies the newcomer rooms over here and i'm using this at the moment so i just want to create a logo and then personally i want to create a real estate logo so i just come to the prompt here and then go type backslash and i'm going to use the imagine prompt so just hit tap and it's going to give you this we just have to type in some keywords for our logo so let's say we want to create a logo for real estate so i'll just say real estate company so i want a logo for real estate company and i want a white background i want a background to be white so those are the keywords i want to use for my logo i also wanted to have a nice style so i say logo style and i want it to be a flat i don't want to look at a 3d so i want it to be flat and you can add more things the colors you can specify the colors you want to use and then let's say we are using majority version 4 so v that's that v version 4 and then we hit enter so this is actually going to generate the logo for us we just have to give ourselves some time so this is what i've entered real estate company white background logo style flat and then I'm just going to allow myself some time for this to be generated for me. So you can see white uh, waiting for start. So it's going to take some time to do this. So let's wait while this logo is being generated. I'm going to modify this in Photoshop. So my logo is being generated over here. It will go through some process to actually generate this logo for me. And then I'll get the amazing version it's currently around 93%. So you can see I have my beautiful logos being generated. So these are my logos. I have four logos at the moment. These are amazing and very beautiful logos I've just generated using Medjourney. Now you want to may, you may want to just use the name, modify the names, and then use the name of the real estate companies you want to use. So these are the various versions I have. One, two, three, four. So you can just pick any of them. So I can decide to say maybe I want to go with the second one so i can just click on this generate this i think i like this i like the first one as well and then probably the third one so i can just click on that just to get the single version of that so i just have to click on that and give myself some time and then i will actually generate those versions and then we can go to photoshop and then we can actually modify these names see at the moment i've been able to get one version of that i think this is the third one let me just scroll down Okay, so I've been able to generate the individual logo. So you can see this is one. I just want to save this to my computer. I'll save this and I think I have, have the other version. So let's just focus on this two for now. So I'm just going to save this also to my computer. So I'll save this and then you can use any photo editing application. Now let's say you want to edit this in Photoshop. I'm actually going to open this. In Photoshop and then let's change the name so I'll just right click and then open this with Photoshop so as you can see I have this logo created by me and then I've opened this in Photoshop and what I have to do is just to edit the names for this logo okay just to edit the name so I can easily go to Photoshop and then maybe 
can even use your selection to select that portion I can select something like this and just use the color picker I'll just use my color picker here and then sample the background color for this logo and then press alt delete to fill that part with that color to just get rid of that now I can just go ahead and then use the name for my logo the name I prefer to call my real estate logo so let's say I want to use my own name so let's say I just take real estate so I can just modify this name right here I just take real estate so I just want to put something down here So I can just modify this. So you can see how amazing this is looking. So you can easily create logo using Majorning AI and then modify this logo and then use them for your own work. You don't have to go to any stress. Even though Majorning normally gets the text wrong, you can easily do this and then come to Photoshop and then just modify your name and just modify the name in your project so this is how to use it in any other Photoshop application so this is how to actually use Majorning to generate your own logo so this is the other one if you want to use this you can equally do the same thing open this in Photoshop and then just change the name and use the name you prefer to use you can easily modify the name as well and then have your own real estate logo. Like, subscribe, and don't forget to turn on post notifications for more amazing videos. Till I come away again. Bye bye.